back and we have another lesson for today. It's about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Last time, we talked about extracting square root. Nag-solve tayo ng quadratic equation by extracting square root. Ngayon naman, magsosolve tayo by factoring. At ginagamit ang factoring kung na ang ating equation ay this one, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 or po pwede rin namang ax squared plus bx is equal to 0. Now, in solving quadratic equations by factoring, we will apply the zero product property. If the product of two real numbers is zero, then either of the two is equal to zero or both numbers are equal to zero. Let's say A, B is equal to zero, then A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. Diba? A, B is equal to zero. Ibig sabihin, pwede yung A equal to 0 o kaya yung B equal to 0. Now, let's apply that in solving by factoring. Example number 1, solve for the roots of x squared minus 5x is equal to negative 6. The first thing to do is to transform the equation into standard form. Standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now, we will apply the addition property of equality. So, we will add both sides of equation. We add positive 6 or plus 6 to make the equation equal to 0 or to make it standard or make it in standard form. Therefore, it will become x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Here, we have our equation in standard form. After that, we can now factor our quadratic equation. In factoring, we will take a look on the last term. Sa constant term, tayo laging unang titingin. Isip tayo ngayon ng factor ng constant term natin or ng 6 natin na pag times natin or pag in natin yung factor niya equal siya doon sa ating middle term o doon sa negative 5. Okay. So, ano kayang factor yung ng 6 na pag pinag-add natin equal to negative 5? Kasi maraming factors ang 6. Okay? Factor 6 that the sum is negative 5. We will um, try to write down all the possible factors of 6. Here is the number 6. Now, what are the factors of positive 6? We have 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is 6 then. 6 and 1. Negative 2 and negative 3. And negative 6 and negative 1. So, these are all the factors of positive 6. Now, among these factors, which do you think have the sum of negative 5? Okay, 6 plus 1 is 7. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. Then negative 6 plus negative 1 is negative 7. So, alin dito yung negative 5 yung sum ng factors? Okay, you're correct. Negative 2 and negative 3. So, ito yung factors na gagamitin natin. Kasi ito yung sum na nag-equal dun sa ating B or dun na sa middle term natin. Now, the next step, since we already know the factors, we factor the x squared. Kaya makikita ninyo may x and x dyan. Okay, magsulat tayo ng parenthesis, dalawang parenthesis. We write the factors of x squared, that is x and x. And then, i-write down natin yung nakuha nating factor, factors kanina ng positive 6. So, we have negative 2 and negative 3, then equal to 0. Ayan, dito nang galing yung negative 2 and negative 3 natin. Next, we will apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic equation equal to 0. Ito na yung sinasabi natin. Apply natin yung zero product property. 
x minus 2 is equal to 0, then x minus 3 equals to 0. Ayan, dyan galing yung mga equations natin. Okay? After that, na-apply na natin yung zero product property, the next step is we can now solve the equation. Okay, so we apply the addition property of equality to get the value of x, right? So, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. So, we add 2 to both sides. And the other one, and other equation, the uh, inverse of negative 3 is positive 3. So, we add positive 3 to both sides of equation. Therefore, x sub 1 is equal to 2. And the other one, x sub 2 is equal to 3. So, therefore, these are the two factors, uh, 2 and 3. That is the factor or the answer for our equation. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple, ganun lang kadali magkuha ng fac factors or mag-solve ng quadratic equations by factoring. Another example natin, number 2, so for the roots of x squared plus 6x minus 16 is equal to 0. Here, the equation is written already in standard form, so no need for us to write down in standard form. We will just write or factor the quadratic equation right away. We will look on the constant term. Sabi ko nga, una lagi tayong titingin sa constant term. Then, isip ng factor ng negative 16 na pag pinag-add natin equals sa 6. Okay? Ano kayang factor yon? Factor of negative 16, the, the sum is 6. So, ang gawin lang natin, i-less down ulit natin yung mga possible factors of negative 6. We have 4 and negative 4. Tandaan, since negative tong given natin, kailangan magkaiba ng sign. Isang positive and isang negative yung mga possible factors. Okay, we also have 8 and negative 2. Then, pwede rin namang yung 8 yung negative. Then, yung isa, positive 2. We also have negative 16 and 1. Or, 16, then negative 1. Among these factors, what do you think will be our possible factors for our equation? So we will add this, 4 plus negative 4, 0. Then negative 8 plus 2, negative 6. 8 plus negative 2 is 6. Then negative 16 plus 1 is negative 15. 16 plus negative 1 is positive 15. Okay, which do you think is equal to positive 6? Factor of negative 16, the, the sum is 6. Okay, that's right. 8 and negative 2 is our uh, factor here. Okay, when we add this, that is equal to positive 6. Okay. Now, we already have the factors. Remember, the next step is to write it down or put a parenthesis, two parentheses here, like this one. Then, factor x squared. What is the factor of x squared? x and x, right? So, we will write x and x here as the factors of x squared. Then, we will also put 8, positive 8, and negative 2. Now, apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic equation equal to 0. x plus 8 is equal to 0. And the other one, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, let us solve for our equation. Okay, so ne positive 8, the inverse is negative 8. So, we add both negative 8 to both sides of our equation. On the other equation, the inverse of 2 is positive 2. Now, we simplify 
x sub 1 is equal to negative 8 and our x sub 2 is equal to positive 2. Therefore, our factors here are negative 8 and positive 2. Okay? So, there are cases that our equations has only one factor. Okay? Now, here are the things that you need to remember in solving quadratic equations by factoring. The first step is make sure that the equation is in standard form. Then, we can now factor the quadratic expression or our equation. Remember, always look on the constant term. Get the factor of the constant term or yung si natin. Now, once we get the factor, we will apply the zero product property by setting each factor of the quadratic equation equal to zero. And of course, we can solve each resulting equation. We can now solve our equation, quadratic equation. And if you have time, you can also check your answers if you got it correctly. Now, for our next topic, let us uh, talk more about completing the, squ the square. Completing the square is another way of solving quadratic equations. So, sa completing the square, medyo mas maraming steps. But, kakayanin natin yan. So, see you again next time. Bye-bye!